moving on to the next topic on our presentation that is some of the common issues that user face while dealing with the terrains so here i have opened an, another dgen file in which i have opened a profile model as well as a 3d view in the profile model we can see that the alignment profile is present however we can't see a terrain model as well as in the 3d file we can see that the end condition are not getting resolved perfectly whereas if we check the terrain is present in the dgen this issue is very common with the new users of open roads designer and it is caused simply because they have not set the terrain model as an active terrain model in order to resolve both of the issue all you have to do is select your terrain model and set it as it as an active terrain model once you set that terrain model as an active terrain model you can see the terrain in the profile view and once you select your card on and reprocess it all the end condition will get resolved perfectly to the terrain model as we can see in the 3d view the next issue that multiple users face is while creating a proposed terrain model for the corridor i'll quickly open another dgen file to demonstrate this issue so for example in this file i have reference in my corridor and my intent is to create a proposed terrain model for this corridor if for now if i simply go to the terrain and from element and if i try to select this corridor it will not allow me to select any particular corridor as a whole it will allow me to select any particular elements but i want my whole corridor to be included into the proposed terrain so now if i just select this pavement it will just create a terrain model for the pavement and not a whole corridor so in order to resolve this issue one thing is missing that you need to select a top mesh display to be turned on so quickly i will switch back to the corridor file and in the corridor file we'll go to the explorer open road standards standards expand the corridor dgen feature definition corridor and select the final feature definition that i have used for this particular corridor in the properties of this corridor final feature definition we can see that this top mesh display is turned as a false that is why we are not able to select the whole corridor while creating a proposed terrain model for it so if we simply change that properties to the, the true it will allow us to select a whole corridor and once you have set this top mesh display to be true and then you can reprocess your corridor and it will create a top mesh for your corridor and now we can go ahead and select a terrain from element and select this top mesh display however this was the workflow that was recommended in earlier versions of open roads designer in the latest version of open roads designer there is very simple trick that can eliminate all of this process and creating a terrain for a corridor becomes very easy so there is one simple trick that you can follow to create a terrain for your corridor all you have to do is to select your corridor first and then go ahead and click on terrain from element the sequence of selecting the corridor first makes the difference here if i select the corridor first and then go to the terrain and terrain from element it can allow me to select overall whole corridor and if i just process creating a terrain it will create a terrain model for my corridor as a proposed terrain model so you can use this simple trick to create a corridor proposed terrain models however this method is recommended for the single corridors only if you are using any complex corridors such as the corridor that contains civil cells or inter intersections in that case using a graphical filters is recommended method if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time